Hello everyone, welcome back to Cyber Platter. If you are new to the IT job or looking for a job in the IT sector, this video is a must to watch. When you start working in the IT sector, there are few things that people expect from you. If you are new to the job, the team leader or someone on the team will give you training to help you learn. However, if you already know these things before joining, you can impress your team members. But if you are an experienced person, your team members expect you to already know these things. Team collaboration tools. Once you join the company, you will be provided a laptop and most of your day starts with checking emails and responding to them. Microsoft Outlook and Google Workforce are mostly used email management tools. Most employees use these tools to send emails and schedule meetings. You should know how to send emails, schedule meetings, and check others' availability while scheduling those meetings. Next is communication tools. Most organizations use Microsoft Teams or Skype for Business or Google Workforce for team communication or collaboration. You should be familiar with these tools. Microsoft Teams is quite popular these days. Um, these tools are used for instant messaging like uh, to ping or chat with your colleagues and other team members. Next are meeting tools like Zoom, WebEx, and Microsoft Teams. These are used to meet others and share screen during the meetings. You can schedule meetings through Outlook and use Teams, Zoom, WebEx to meet. During these meetings, if you want to present something, let's say you're um, presenting a PowerPoint presentation, you can share your screen or um, if your team wants to meet on a video call, you can go on a video call. Um, you can also use um, to record the meetings, you can use these tools. Next is server login tools. Let's say if your team is using a Linux server, you'll need to know how to log into this Linux server using SSH client. SSH is uh, stands for Secure Shell. Uh, Putty is a popular tool for logging into the Linux servers. Some people also call this as Putty. Uh, there are a few other tools, but Putty is the most popular tool. Windows 10 and 11 also has an open SSH client to connect to the Linux servers using command prompt. If your team manages Windows servers, you can use the remote desktop connection tool on your laptop to connect to a Windows server. So if you want to connect to a Linux server, you use Putty, uh, but to a Windows server, you use a uh, remote desktop connection. You log into these servers to perform tasks like checking logs or copying, pasting some files into the server or out of the server. Um, all those kind of activities you can do using these tools. Next one is uh, log monitoring tools. These tools um, help you to troubleshoot by checking the logs. These are also called as SIM tools, security incident event management tools. Splunk and Kibana are most popular tools for checking logs from multiple servers in one place. Let's say you have 10 Linux servers or 10 Windows servers. Uh, every time you want to check the logs, you have to log into the 10 servers, right? Which is very inconvenient. So if you send those logs from all those 10 servers to Splunk or Kibana, this Splunk and Kibana aggregate the logs and show you in a single place, which is very easy for you to troubleshoot. Uh, so they aggregate the logs from uh, mo more than one server and show it to you. And you can also create alerts and dashboards using this Splunk and Kibana tools. Next one is uh, ticketing tools. ServiceNow is used as a ticketing tool. ServiceNow is an ITSM, IT service management tool. Uh, you can use ServiceNow to, to, to create tickets um, when you need um, any application installed on your laptop or 
you have some login issues or issues uh, with any application or do you need help from a different team on a day-to-day -day basis uh, right um, or if you are supporting a tool or an application in the company other users who, who are using the uh, the application they can create a ticket if they are facing any issues so they can create a ticket to your uh, team and your team can help them uh, like same way if you want help from other application teams you can create tickets and assign it to them ServiceNow is also is used to create change records um, whenever you're making updates to your application you can create change records in ServiceNow uh, it also supports other ITM function, ITSM functionalities. Next is issue and project tracking tools. If your if your team follows Agile development methodology, they might use Jira or Jama. These tools help track your work with stories and daily stand-up calls for updates. When you join a team, if your team follows Agile methodology, nowadays almost every uh, organization every team is following it uh, you're, you'll have a scrum master and scrum master will assign you jira stories or tasks and there will be iterations um, these are called sprints for every two weeks and you need to work on those uh, stories or tasks that are assigned to you on a daily basis and every day you'll have a stand-up meeting where you need to provide an update and you'll need to complete these tasks these tasks within that sprint the very important tools so all these tools are very important um, and you should be aware of uh, all these tools um, if you're working in it thank you for watching hope you got some understanding uh, the tools that we use in it on a daily basis if you like the video please comment share and subscribe to cyber platter We'll be back soon with a new video. Bye.